A very basic skill you need in chemistry is to be able to write Lewis dot structures for any compound. First of all, here are some of the most common elements you'll see in general chemistry and organic chemistry reactions. Above each column is the number of electrons it has, each element has in its valence shell. So if each element in a molecule has that many electrons around it, it is neutral. First of all, we'll look at nitrate. Now, the first step in drawing any Lewis dot structure is guess a structure. I'd say very generally, put the odd atom out in the middle, see if that works. If there are multiple possibilities, draw all of them and work on all of them. Second step, how many electrons does this molecule have? To figure that out, look at each element, find it in this periodic table, go to the top of the column, and add that number. Add them all up, and then add any charge on this. Now, I guess I should have said subtract the charge, because uh, electrons have a negative charge. You should know that, though. The point is, if it's charged, make an adjustment. For nitrate, nitrogen contributes 5 electrons. Each oxygen contributes 6, so that's a total of 23 electrons. And there's a negative 1 charge overall. That means there's 1 extra electron, 24 electrons total. Now, here's my little secret. I feel like no one ever told me this, this next part. The third thing you should do, fill up the outer atoms first. Give them all eight electrons, so they all, well, two for hydrogen. Make them all happy, fill them up. So we have three atoms on the outside and 24 electrons to use. That fills them all up perfectly, fills up their valence shells perfectly with none left over. The last step, create bonds from the outer atoms to the inner one to fill its octet. And if you can't fill it, then to come as close as you can to filling it. Here's what I mean by create bonds. Take two from the outside, just draw something like this. That'll help you visually. Now, these two electrons are now shared by the inner and outer atoms, nitrogen and oxygen in this case, in a bond. So, with this, nitrogen has six electrons, just from its three initial bonds, and then we know nitrogen wants eight for an octet. We'll give it two more by creating another bond now it looks like this. Now this is not a proper Lewis structure, it's a representation that helps us figure out the Lewis structure. Now we draw it. Turn those bonds into sticks, put the lone pairs on, include the charge. That's the Lewis structure for nitrate. Let's look at another example. How about ozone, O3? Three oxygens, no charge, so 18 electrons. I'll draw this as a line, a linear molecule, just as a rough approximation until we get the structure figured out. First, we'll fill the outer atoms' octets with our electrons. This time, we're going to have some left over. So we put the remainder in the center and then fill the center's octet with bonds. Obviously, we'll need at least one bond to each atom, or else this isn't a molecule. So right now, the oxygen in the middle has six. We'll put two more electrons in by creating one more bond. Now, it looks like every atom in this molecule has a full octet. Now to make this into a proper Lewis structure, we have this bent molecule. That's what ozone looks like. Just to recap, you fill up the outer atoms octets first, then you put any remaining electrons on the center atom, and then you use bonds to give it an octet. This should help you with all simple Lewis structures, but we need to learn about formal charge before we can finish talking about this.